the relationship between Christ and the church. It in the whole earth, God observed and looked and saw that the only thing that will be able to reflect, coming close to reflect of how he feels toward the church is the marriage. So being not able to understand the dynamics of this marriage, it is where as a church, as a community, we are getting it wrong. Today, as you do the statistics, you're going to realize that many who are entering into the marriage like these two have done today, it is a very small percentage that are able to stick into that marriage all the way. I am aware and I know that I am speaking this because I'm not only uh, responsible for the two, but I'm also responsible for the church and also for the community. Allow me to say that if we just come to a level of understanding and having a revelation of what love is all about, it is going to be the solution of the havoc and the agony and the, and, the, and the things that are happening every day. Majority of the people are in tears. Majority of the people are in problems simply because somebody did not understand. It is as simple as that. Somebody did not understand what it really meant to say that I love you and I will hold you and I will enter into a covenant with you. When we miss that one and when we miss that particular aspect, that's the reason why there is a lot of agony and there is a lot of things that are going on even in the community and at the church. And that is why today I feel so bold to stand between, before this congregation and between, before Daniel and Anne Paris and give you three. I'm not going to do much. Just three. Understanding and revelations of what you have just done. And we will be done. Number one. The marriage. Amen. The marriage kind of love is the God kind of love. That is the first thing I want you to know. The marriage kind of love, it is the kind that is of God. Jesus somewhere, he said, have and be like God. Imitate me as I imitate God. The whole agenda of God for the church, it is to be like him. And then he says, as you become like me, the only thing you can think of that will come close to what I am and what I'm talking about as God, it is when you think and understand marriage. And when this becomes twisted, we have havoc. Marriage are beginning and they are not lasting. Praise be to God. The big question now comes, what is the God kind of love. What is the God kind of love? Number one. The God kind of love is a, is a, is a death life. Love. Sorry. The God kind of love is a death kind of love. How many people know what John 3.16 says? Can we say it? Congregation, can we say it? Uh huh. Thank you so much. For God so loved the world, he gave. Daniel. For Daniel so loved Paris, he will give. There's no two way about it. And this giving, it is not a kind of giving as the world does. Because the world are giving with an expectation.
revelation that we have to give back. But the God kind of love is that you give and you expect nothing. How many people here have seen Jesus running after people with a rod demanding for their love? After he releases himself in revelation to you, he lets you go. He lets you free. Hallelujah. I speak to the men that are in the house today. After you profess that you have a God kind of love, once you give, you release. Once you give, you release. The God kind of love is a giving love. It gives all. The Bible says that Jesus, as the son of God, was given to the world. And he withheld nothing, including being like God. He let it go. He let it go. What does that mean? He lost all his rights. He doesn't have a right anymore. Because it is a God kind of love. Even on the cross, he declared, forgive them, for they know not what they do. It is the God kind of love. Marriages that are built on another love other than this one, they don't have a future. Daniel and Paris, I charge you today, go and seek the Lord and pray to the Lord to give you this kind of love. It is self-sacrificing. It is self-death. And this is the catch. When I'm a man loves the wife without nothing, and the wife loves the husband without nothing, it becomes a mutual relationship that cannot be broken. The problem is when sometimes we also get loved, we become selfish, and now we want to take advantage because we are selfish. It has to be two-way process. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. This is the only thing that will heal our community. In the mighty name of Jesus. The God kind of love. Hallelujah. Number two. This kind of love, it is where worship begins. Now, let me ask you, men, I know you're here, and also wives, I know you're here, and I know that if I may say that we lift up our hands, we are all going to be in a place whereby we say, this wife has to be like Sarah. Praise be to God. But let me tell you, before Sarah could call Abraham Lord, it was because of the flooding of love that was released to her. Why? Love provokes worship. Hallelujah. When my wife knows I truly loves her, she will praise me. She will adore me as a husband. Before that is realized, it is not going to happen. And the only thing that your heart responds to 100%, it is the flooding of that love. When there is purity, there is no taking advantage. When you respond to each other in love, that marriage will last forever. Praise be to God. Hey, Pastor, are you just talking about those two? They, we know them. Yeah, we know them, but I'm telling you, that is where the whole thing is. 
Most of the times we become selfish, we become we 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 we, we lose track, we become self-centered, and that's why there is a lot of trouble in the in the marriages, in the families, in the in the institutions, in the community at large. Because there is no God kind of love. The God kind of love provokes worship. Mark that. It provokes worship. That's why the Bible says, and Sarah obeyed Abraham and called him my Lord. Worship. Praise be to God. The that thing as I finish. I want to address everybody in this building. And I want you to know, love never fails. Love never fails. And I can add there because that is a scripture. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a scriptural principle that love never fails. So when there is fail, it was never love in the first place. Sila. Love never fails. I want to come before you and talk to you and let you know when love is pure, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. When love is pure, Daniel, when love has no guile, it will never fail. It does not make you a victim. Praise be to God. Because love never fails. Can I absolve me to the church? God will always defend love. Because love is God. He will go in a mile to defend love. He will do all to defend love. Even if you are in this house and you are in a marriage and you may be saying, I am one of those people who have given all in love. Even if things are not okay, I want you to know the scripture says, love never fails. And God has a way every time for love. Praise be to God. God will always open a door for love. You cannot genuinely, without a guile, without selfish gain, without self-seeking, produce love and God dumps you like that. Praise be to God. I know we are in an era where God is calling for love back to the church. Because that love, when it happens in the family place, in the family place, how many people know that church begins at the family level? Do we believe that? When church, so it means when this love is not there in the family level, even when we come to the church, there is no love. And therefore, we are all over, everywhere, we have this slogan saying, the church doesn't have love. The church doesn't have love. The church doesn't have love. But I'm asking this question, has the families restored, remembered that they are the original intent of God for the expression of love. If we understand that brethren, then we are going to foster it back home and when I arrive here in the church, I am going to continue with it. Then we shall become a community of a church that is full of love. The Bible says that love is kind. Love suffers long. Love is not God. Love is all this. And that is when we are going to have a community and a church that is vibrant again and that is strong again. Praise be to God. I know what I'm talking about right now may not make a lot of sense because I know our minds are could be all over because of, of so many things that are going ahead. But one time, Anne and and Daniel and Anne, when you'll sit down and listen to this message, refer to it, it will become a blessing into your lives. Remember those three things. Marriage is built 
on the God kind of love. Number two, worship begins from love. In other words, what I mean is love provokes worship. Do we have men that are saying this wife doesn't, this wife doesn't, this person doesn't, or the wife saying this man doesn't, this man doesn't? Oh, provoke it in pure love. Because love provokes worship. And number three, this is for you. This is for your encouragement. Love will never fail. First Corinthians chapter 13 and verse number 8. Love never fails. And love will never fail. Let us stand up. All of us together. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Let us all say it together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to submit this to somebody. I don't know why I have to say it, but allow me to say it. If you try on your own, Daniel, if you try on your own, you will fail. And if you try alone, you will fail. And that is why no marriage can stand outside God. And that's why as a spouse, spouses, we both go to God. And when we are in God, we acquire the godly nature in us. And when the godly nature is in us, then we become in our account full of love that we are able to give. When you men, when you wife, you stay outside God, you don't have time for God, you don't seek the Lord, you don't pursue Him, sooner or later you become bankrupt of love because love is never derived anywhere else outside God. And that is why many marriages are collapsing today because people want love, yet they deny God. They want love, yet they don't mind staying outside God. I challenge us today, come back to God. If you are in a stormy marriage, in a problematic marriage, I challenge you today, seek the Lord and fill your account with the godly nature. You will see him working miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God is on our side in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow me to welcome Reverend Wero because he's in the house just to come and seal this session for us with a word of prayer as we engage in a moment of signing of the certificate and we are going to be unleashed from here in the mighty name of Jesus. Servant of God, we honor you. We love you. Thank you for being in the house of God together with us. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bow before the throne of grace this afternoon and this very day. We thank you because you are the Lord God, the King of glory. 
In you there is life. In you there is all that we need. We bow before your presence, dear Father, to profess that you are the God of love. In you there is fullness of love. That is why this afternoon, dear Father, we came that we may celebrate love and the byproducts of love. We thank you for this message, dear Father, that you have reminded us that it is all about love, that you gave all that you had, the begotten and the very loved Son, that he may come and die for us. Dear Father, we want to thank you that by your Son, we are called heirs with Christ Jesus. It is by that love that we can enter into the Holy of Holies. It is out of that love that we can walk together as husbands and wives. It is out of that love that we can call upon the name of the Lord. It is out of that love that you provoke worship. And that is why we are here today. We honor you, God Almighty, because of your word. We thank you because of the mind that you had for us. Even to remind us tonight that we ought to love you, God, because you are the love. And love is God. And without love, we cannot know you, God. We cannot come close to you. We cannot profess of who you are and what you have become to our lives, oh God. We thank you, dear Father, because of the love of the cross. Were it not by that love, we could not have become the sons and the daughters of the Most High God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Living God. Thank you for that love. For God so loved the world that you gave us the only and the only begotten Son. We thank you for such a great love. And by that love, oh God, we keep on moving. We keep on going on. We keep on focusing unto you, the author and the great finisher of this great faith. We thank you and we love you, Jesus, because you alone, you have become our portion. And this is a prayer of faith. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Shall we give Jesus a mighty hand? For he is the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Amen. Now we have come almost to the final portion of this ceremony today. Having received the blessing of the altar, we now want also them to be recognized by the state that they are also legally married. Hallelujah. Because we do not only stand for the altar of the Most High God, we also represent the state and the law of the land, which the Bible says in the book of Romans, we should honor the authority and be obedient. Hallelujah. So with that, I want to welcome uh, the bride and the groom. And they are going to come and just stand near here as the worshippers give us worship moment. Oh, I remember. Yes. So as they are coming here, we are going to have that presentation from our dear daughter here. And I know that we are going to be blessed as they are going to be signing the document in the name of Jesus. Maybe we can go over there, at the back there.
we're going to stand here at the center in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is now hereby with uh, uh, a lot of humility that I take this chance and I just want to, re to present this certificate unto them because they have signed it and they have consented that this, yes indeed, is our marriage. Hallelujah. So I am going to give it unto them. Let us give Jesus a hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And then I want to give it to you because this is the ceiling. As far as the state of Washington is concerned, you will need to produce this to prove that today happened. In the mighty name of Jesus. And now with a lot of honor, Allow me to present this certificate of marriage to the couple in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to declare in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, as they are holding that certificate seal, I just want to declare now that by the authority committed unto me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ and as a witness of the prejudice of love that you have given to each other today, I now declare Daniel Gitau and Ann Paris Nyawira are now husband and wife. And nobody will question you now. If we find you hugging Paris, if we find you kissing her, if we find you, there is no more question. Hallelujah! Do we agree? Do we agree? Daniel, now you have all the freedom to hug the bride. Thank <laughs> you. 
the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is able. Because of time, I know we can stay here so much. Amen. So I declare them husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And now, let us stand up. And now, I want to declare also, whomever, therefore, God has joined together. Let no man put asunder Can I say it again? Whom therefore God has joined together. Let no man put asunder. It is sealed on earth and in heaven. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What an honor that we are here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Allow me to welcome our dear Pastor Ruth to come here and help us as we close this. After that, we are going to engage in recession in Jesus' mighty name. Pastor, we love you. Let us pray together. Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. We worship you, King of kings and the Lord of lords, for you alone deserve all the glory, almighty God. We worship you, God, in the beauty of your holiness, O oh God. Thank you, almighty Father, because since we started this event today, O oh God almighty, you have been together with us. And now as we have come to the end, O oh God almighty, of the service, O oh Jehovah God, we want to say thank you, thank you, Lord, from the bottom of our hearts. Indeed, you alone deserve all the glory and all the honor. We thank you, mighty Father, because we came in as witnesses, O oh God, of what you have joined together. And God Almighty, as your word says, that what God you have put together, let no man put asunder. Tonight we stand as witnesses, O oh God, declaring that God, this marriage will stand, O oh God. We declare that God, this marriage is blessed. Amen. We declare that Anne and Perry, uh, uh, Sister Anne and, and Daniel are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We cover them and surround them with the blood of Jesus Christ. And now, mighty God, even as we prepare to go for the reception, oh Father, we commit ourselves unto you. We thank you, God, for we shall leave this place rejoicing, oh God, seeing that we have seen the victory, saying that we have seen the victory of the Lord. Father, be thou glorified be thou exalted for there is no other one like you O God we give you praise and we give you glory this we pray trusting and believing in Jesus holy name amen. amen before we say the grace and start to, to uh, and engage in the recession I would want Malvin if you're in the house please come and give us the direction after here I know time is so much gone but I thank God because we are we are in the presence of God. Is Melvin available? All, J all, all, all MCs, just somebody. Okay, I see him coming. Come in the mighty name of Jesus for a quick announcement concerning the reception. And after that, we will say the grace and leave.
Hello there. You can sit down, please. Just have a seat for a minute. Uh, we thank you so much. Welcome in, uh, in Dominion of Worship Tabernacle. This is where we worship. It's a wonderful place. Tomorrow we'll be here as from 9 a.m. all the way to 1 p.m. You're most welcome. The host pastor is the pastor presiding. Amen. Um, and we apologize for our parking issues today because of uh, different, I have had uh, several issues with the parking because of uh, the location. So we apologize for that. Next time, at least you're aware of what's, what's going on. We have several parkings from both those sides and this other side. So next time, because there are so many weddings that are following from here. I'm very sure you have seen that Dominion we got. Great, wonderful daughters here. Amen? And we have great, wonderful sons here. Let's appreciate them. These are the next. These are the next. We are having wedding here. So next time you'll not be, like, lost. Are we together? Now, for now, this is what will happen. Uh, we are going to have the reception in that address, 9, 10, 9, Street, Southeast Urban, Washington 98002. Now, my simple advice for you is when you put that address, it might more likely than not direct you to use a road that is on my left, somewhere here. Kindly, I will advise all of us to use the urban way. Urban way south is the easiest way to get to the urban community uh, um, uh, event center. That's, that way you, go, you don't get lost. It's, in, it's just next to the library. And the, when you hit the library, you can start looking for your parking anywhere immediately, even within the library parkings on, on your right. But there are enough parking for all of us. And also for your information, there's another event that is going on there right now, but those will also will be using a hall next to where we'll be. So don't get lost in the, in the middle of the event. But... Urban way south is the best way to go. Now, from here, this wonderful couple are very generous. They are wonderful. They have enough food for you and me and everybody else. And Paris and, and Daniel, they are so wonderful. They have prepared for us something for everybody. And because of that, I'll give her a chance to declare thanks for the food. Because from here, we're going to head straight there. As they head for the photo session for only 25 minutes, all of us will have to go quickly to the reception, get our food, get going. By the time they get back, we are supposed to have been done. So it's just as easy as that. So we have 30 minutes. Because if you not be done, and I'm going to call the MC here, the MC will mess up with your plate. Because the MC will want you to wake up and get the bride and the team. So... As soon as you get there, get your food, eat. Because as soon as they come from the photo session, we're going to have to go for them and proceed to the, the reception. Now, another thing. Um, as you have heard about the, the, the route that we are going to use, after this, before they head, before the whole team head to, to, to out of here, we're going to have specific photos. Right now, with your with your uh, permission, we're gonna have the, the first for the bridal team. On, I know they have taken theirs there, but we like to have one that is facing this direction. So the photo man, please, quickly, and then we have the first photo will be for the the bridal, and then the next one will be for the parents, both parents. The next one will be the family members of both sides. We'll have only one photo for each. The rest will be done on the other side. And if, if you're a friend, a, a colleague, a, a, a workmate or whatever, all of us will take more photos on the reception. So don't worry about that. But for now, we'll have only those five. 
but we'll first of all have the pastors uh, to take the photo also together with them before they move to the next level. So I request that to happen. Uh, as, as pastor take over, we, re we respect the man of God. So we'll start with the man of God first. After the man of God, we have the parents. After the parents of both sides, we'll have the family of both sides. After that, we're going to head out. They know the song. But before we head out, I'm going to introduce for you the MC of the hour. Thank you. So we're going to have a quick photo session. That's for the pastors. Okay, kindly the parents. The parents will will have each parents doing separately and together. So each parent doing separately and together. Okay, separately, each parent separately. then we still have the other members of the family. Okay, no. Yeah. And then after this, we'll have the family, the family of both sides, each separately and together. And then we are done. So let's have the family coming in, the family of Daniel and the family of Paris. So let's start with the family of Danny, right? That is the, huh? No, the family. So that's the family of Daniel. Yeah. When I talk of the family, I mean the, the children, the mom, the, the, the brothers, the sisters, because we only have one for here. The rest can be done elsewhere, but this is the special one. Okay, that's for the Daniel. And the other parents, the other family for the, for Anne should be preparing. Okay, are they ready? All right, that's good. And after this photo, the MC, sh MC should be coming closer to me. We want to save time. Let me see if we can have a combined one after this. So you, you don't, don't move. Don't move. Let's have the other family joining in. Because I will then... And then That's what I mean. Instead of you again, Maumen, Mashoke, Mamo Mashoke. So this is a combined one. And then after that, Family Daniel will will take off and then we'll have only the family for An. I know it's a big family, we apologize for the space for now, but uh, we just want to do a quick one. Nariyama teko nyiteka no wega, gai niya kamali rika na hede wege. So, but try, Fotoban, try it as much as possible. All right. Are, are we good on that? Okay, let's have the... Daniel's family taking off what off his camera mm. 
and for arms for the family only. That's the last one. The rest can sit down, please. Arms family. And the song should be getting ready for the procession now. After this. Where are the children? Children, don't be left behind. She and show the Sia and where are the children? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, the rest can always be done uh, elsewhere. At least we captured the the main one. All right, so thank you very much for that session. Before I give um, Anne to, to give thanks for the meal, for all of us to get ready, I just want to introduce the MC quickly. The MC will be waiting for you in the reception, but I just want to say hi so that you can get set. Thank you. Karib Sanam. Right, ani sana ne daki kani dradini na kenda na vichu na habari zina zogonga vichu azabari zina tuarifu ya kwamba wawili wapenda nao Paris na na Daniel tiali wamefunga pingu za maisha wakishikanishwa naye kasisi mkuu katika au kumbi wa Dominion Tabernacle worship wawili hawa walionekana wakicheka cheke cheke huku wakifurahi rahi rahi na kutabasamu samu zamu walipopewa muda wa kuweza kuonyeshana mapenzi yao hadharani wawili hawa waliweza kukubatiana kumbu kumbu huku wakimumunyana Munyu, munyu. Nasi kutoka kwenye ukumbi wetu wa taarifa tunawatakia ndoa njema na mapenzi tele. Let's appreciate the newest couple in town. Or I'll be your MC for the day. We are so grateful that you came to grace this occasion to patane kwenye reception. Thank you. Don't pick my coffee. Don't pick my coffee MC. Hi. Siana siete sioke haha. All the children come here. Nimesikia kuna kapicha ya watoto wote. And then So just one for this. It's a request. And then may have the, 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 the immediate, after this may have the immediate aunts, children, and the immediate Daniel children to take that photo. I can see them, they're all here. So immediately after this, and that will be the last. This was a special request. Hey, you're going to give a smile, please. Somebody call Jimmy, please. Somebody call Jimmy. Okay. Is Maria around? Is that done? So the immediate children, please. Yeah, faster, faster, let's do it quick. Okay, all of them is one photo. Okay, one. Okay, hold on. Just one and the last one. I'll organize you.
That's the last one. And as they stand there, this, the family and Paris will give thanks for the food, ready to eat. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the blessing. You are the blesser, and we receive your blessing this day, Jehovah God. As we go to eat, King of Glory, we thank you for the food that you have provided in the name of Jesus. We pray that, Almighty God, even as we eat, no accidents, no misfortunes, but you shall be with us, God. Even as the day ends, King of Glory, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Receive all the adoration, God. You are exalted among, above all things and above all circumstances. In this place, Jehovah God, you are the king. You are the master. And therefore, we glorify your name. We worship you and we honor you, God. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. All right, back to pastor for the last procession. Let us all stand up now in the mighty name of Jesus as we say the grace and then the recession begins. Amen. Let us stand up. Amen. Let us all say now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Those who are organizing the recession you may take the front in Jesus' name. We are done. Let us give Jesus a hand. Amen. so much so all of us can head now out we go very few minutes let's go there let's get eating
and thank you so much for greeting our occasion. We really bless the Lord for you people. I can see a lot of friends visitors.